Hello everybody, I'm Jeff Johnson for Clerk TV, and today I've got the pleasure to talk to Lashana Jackson, who is the Clerk of Superior Court in Hancock County. How are you? I'm doing good. It's so How good are to you? see you. Great to see you too. Let's let's tell all the folks that are watching right now, where is Hancock County? Hancock is basically in the center of other surrounding counties, which are Baldwin County, Putnam County, Washington County, Greene County, and Warren County. So we're in the middle of everyone. So you're like the heart of Georgia. Yes, you can say that. I'm the heart of Georgia. <laughs> How long have you been clerk of Superior Court? I was elected in 2012, so mm -hmm. I came on in 2013. So I've officially completed one year of being clerk. I'm currently on my second year. How are you liking it? I'm loving it. Really? I'm loving it. Well, let me ask you this next question. That brings me to my next question. I heard that you guys had a pretty traumatic situation go on, go on in Hancock County. Your courthouse burned down. Yes, sir. Here you are, a brand new clerk of court, mm -hmm. and you've had to deal with this. Talk a little bit about what happened, mm -hmm. what, you, what you did to remedy, it, remedy the situation, because think about all those records and everything else. Talk about that a little bit, because that's a big challenge for somebody that's been in there one year. Yes. Well, the fire happened on August the 11th, mm -hmm. and I was called. I got a call at about maybe 3.20 a.m. in the morning. Mm. And the young lady that called me, she works in the commissioner's office, and she said, the courthouse is on fire. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> and she was like, yes, the courthouse is on fire. I'm watching it now. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, I'll be up there as soon as I can. Oh. So I threw on my clothes. I called my mom to come over and watch the girls because mm -hmm. my girls will sleep. Mm -hmm. And I rushed uptown, and there's a bridge where you're coming down towards town, and you can see the courthouse from the bridge. Oh. And all I seen was fire. And wow. it was like a horror movie. <laughs> and when I got out of my car, I was like, this is... Is this real? Yeah, it had to be surreal. I mean, you just, yeah, and I just couldn't believe my eyes. Right. So I just, I just went into tears, and I was like, "Oh my God, I just can't believe this. What is really going on?" It was, it was just so unbelievable. So after the tears dried, what did you do? I contacted another clerk who's in Wilkinson County, Miss Bright, and I was just like, um, "The courthouse is on fire." and I don't know what I need to do because I know my records and things are in mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. And she basically just laid out everything that I needed to do, put me in contact with the people I needed to contact. And keep in mind, I have the backup. Right. And that's the farthest thing from my mind because I'm like, what do I do? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> there, there, there's, a, there should, there's a plan and, and, and action. Yes. You know, that says an awful lot about the community that are the clerks, all of the different clerks of court, that yes. she took the time yes. to do that. How, why was that so important to you? That was very important because she's someone that I, I would call on to ask um, if I ever need anything and ask for help, and she will always help me. Well, any of the clerks, if I contact them, they would always help because I really love the clerk family. <laughs> I mean, they, they embraced me with open arms, and they told me if I need anything, don't hesitate to call. <laughs> and she was just the first person that I could think of to call. <laughs> and when I called her, she laid everything out, and... It was all up here from there. So where are you now? Where are you in the process of being back up and running 100%? Yes. Actually, we were back up and running 100% on the second week. Wow. On the second wow. week. Wow. We found a building, well, the county found a building, mm -hmm. which we are located at the Technical College, mm -hmm. and that building was vacant. We have more space. I contacted the clerk's authority, and they were there. They was just waiting on me to give them the day to be wow. there. And I contacted my vendors as well. They were just waiting as well. And we were back up and working 100% the second, the second week. What does that say to your staff? How many how many people are on your staff? Currently, we have four, which is including myself. Mm -hmm. How did they help you? They helped out tremendously. 
because my chief deputy clerk, she was there with me every step of the way. We were making lists of what we need, who we need to contact, where we need to go, and how we need to go about getting the things that we need to get started back up. Did the, the citizens of Hancock County, obviously they knew there was a fire. Mm -hmm. Obviously they knew these things were, you know, very important. How did you get back to serving them? Did, was there a, a, a you know, um, a big service disruption? Well, kind of, sort of. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people, being that Hancock is a very small town, a lot of people came to my house and asked, well, what's going to happen? What's, gotcha. what's going on with the records? Do we have this and do we have that? Mm -hmm. I said, just stay calm. Mm -hmm. We're backed up. Only thing I have to do is contact my vendors and we can dump it all back in the system and I have everything up. Now, on the day of the fire, we were scheduled for criminal trials. And a lot of people think they got away, but they didn't <laughs> <laughs> because we had a backup. You had the backup. <laughs> that is true. Incredible. So I just tried to keep everybody calm and let them know and just reassure them that everything is going to be okay and just give us a couple of weeks and we'll be ready to serve you. In serving th the citizens of the county, what, what is your major goal in doing that? Oh, man. I have so many goals, but I think... Well, talk, we can talk about them. That's why we're here. <laughs> but um, just serving the public with mm -hmm. respect and professionalism and transparency. Just keeping it transparent so I can keep them in the loop, so mm -hmm. they can be informed. I run ads in the paper. I try to do it every six months just mm -hmm. to keep them abreast of what are the changes that are being made, what's going on in the courthouse, in the clerk's office. I mean, and just let them know that my door is always open. Wow. I mean, that's a big deal because, you know, in some forms of city government, you can't even get to a person. It's, you know, true. So all the person has to do is do what to get in touch with you? Call, come by, email, I'm available. Fantastic. All right, now we're going to get into some fun stuff. What are some of your hobbies? Oh, I love shopping. <laughs> <laughs> Why was that the first one? <laughs> I love shopping, meeting new people, traveling, and mm -hmm. spending time with my family. Family is important to you. Why is family so important? Because they are my backbone. Mm -hmm. My husband and my kids, mm -hmm. they really hold me down and bring me back to reality when I come home from work. It does make a major part of the yes, difference. It does. I mean, it, it, it's the same way for me as well. As you progress and as we move forward, what do you see as the future of your role mm -hmm. as a clerk? Oh, man. Well, I pray that I'm reelected every year that I decide to run. Mm -hmm. And I just see our office moving along with the time with technology. Mm -hmm. Because when I first took office, um, the previous clerk there, she didn't have a computer on her desk. So that right there <coughs> said something to me. It just makes me want to move with the time because we have to be prepared. Because yes. whether we're prepared or not, it's still gonna continue to move on into this new world of technology. So mm -hmm. we have to be ready and we have to be willing and able to do that. Well, I think you guys have done an awful lot coming from a burned out courthouse to where you are today. I thank you for taking the time to talk to us. I thank you for having me. You're very welcome. You've been watching Clerk TV.